So I'm parked here. I'm going to do clockwise this loop and then come back around. That should be about 10 miles. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I can't believe I finally made it here after a waiting over a year. I tried to come here last summer, but I couldn't. But now I'm here uh, in summer again because I couldn't come in winter. I could probably not survive winter. I can barely survive it now. But I'm here in Picture Rocks Lakeshore, Michigan. I watch so many YouTube videos about this area, about this trail, and it's just gorgeous. So I wanted to experience that for myself. But nobody knows this area better than Jason from Jason Outdoors. I'll put his channel link on the description box below. Uh, so you can follow him, you know where to find him, but he can answer any questions that you may have. He's always here, like every year. Uh, but anyways, today's hike is going to be about 10 miles. It's going to be easy slash moderate, and I think it's going to take about four hours or so. So without further ado, let's get going. the loop but I had to get out and do a quick detour into Mosquito Beach. Take a look at this. The water is super clear. Um, there's some stone on the beach. We have never seen that before. And right now it's about 9.30 a.m. and it's kind of private, nobody here at the moment. So I'm enjoying it for now. Almost halfway in. I think this trail is pretty easy. It's like a walk in the park. It's pretty flat, um, but I'm taking forever because I get to pull out of the trail and just look at the view at the water. It's so pretty. It's probably one of the prettiest things I've ever seen. It has to be one of the top. I'm really enjoying this trail. There's like some people enjoying the water with their kayaks and their boats. So that's got to be a lot of fun as well, looking at it from different perspectives. Um, also, I have not seen any of the uh, flies. I think I'm pretty lucky. Or maybe because it's getting colder, they're running away. I don't know, but there so far, nothing has been bugging me. I can't believe how fast this year is going by. There's so much I wanted to do this summer because I know I have a short window of time that I can do um, states up north. I still want to get to New Hampshire to do white mountains. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get there because I know the weather, maybe the temperatures may be dropping. Uh, but if not, I guess I'll, I'll go to Tennessee and I wanted to do Mount the Cons and maybe throw in a few rock scrambles that I love so much now. Uh, but yeah, it's just flying by and so many places I want to visit in just so little time. Wow. A little bit nervous of going farther because there's a lot of erosion and there's nothing I can grab on. But let's see. Okay, I think that's it. Wow. This view never gets old. Grand Portal Point. This is the rock we were looking at 
for a while now and we are here uh, right here feels like a has this beachy vibe uh, it's pretty much sand here not as firm as the forest so I guess that's Grand Central point let's take a quick photo there Ooh. oh my god look at those kayaks Wow, this looks like the perfect spot to snorkel or just uh, dive in. There's so many cool spots to hang around here. You just follow the trail, it takes you out to the lake, then the back in, then out, the end. So you get to see a lot of cool perspectives of this. This is what I travel so far for. Shuffle Rock. From below. I want to get up there in a minute. So much beauty, can't describe it. Let's go. hike is coming to an end. I'll put the specs on my Apple Watch here on the side. This trail was worth coming all the way from Florida for. It was just epic. I mean you can see it in the pictures but when you get to the Chapel Rock and you can see all the rock formations it is beautiful. But one thing I would say start kind of clockwise because I guess everybody just goes to Chapel Rock so by the time I was done, there was a lot of people trying to take their pictures. So I kind of had to just squeeze it something in. It's not as, as good as I want it, but whatever. This trail is pretty much shaded. You're walking all around the forest. The trail takes you into the forest, out to the lake, into the forest, out to the lake. So it's pretty cool like that. You get to see different views of the lake and the rocks. Yeah, so I will start counterclockwise just because chapel rock seems to be the most popular place to be. I didn't experience any flies. It's right now mid-August. This hike is going to take me more than the old trail said it was going to take me. And it's probably because I could look on the water. It was just so pretty. You, the water is so clear. You can see the rocks at the bottom. And there's a lot of kayaks and boats. They have a lot of tourism around here. So it's pretty cool. There were restrooms at the beginning of this trail and apparently you need a pass to bring your car as of 2022 which I didn't know so hopefully when I get back to my car I don't get like a fine or something like that I saw dogs on the beach on Chapel Beach so I guess they're allowed here and yeah this is a pretty cool trail highly recommended it is beautiful in pictures but it's much more wonderful to see it in person, always. Um, so anyways guys, that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and see you next time, bye. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for future adventures. See ya.